90 years ago, in 1920, Canada won their first gold medal in Olympic hockey. And this year, in 2010, in Vancouver, BC, on home soil, they go for number eight. And they got off to a pretty good start, didn't they? The Canadian men's hockey team started their Olympic Games off with a bang with an 8 to nothing win over Norway. And I was there. I went to the game with my new buddy Ross who earned a ticket to go see the game with me by proving his love for Canada right outside the Nike store on Robson. Did a cartwheel, said some funny stuff. And if you're in Vancouver, you would have been able to participate in the contest if only you followed us on Twitter. Twitter. At Nike Training Follow. Hmm. So you went to the game with Ross, huh? Uh, uh, yeah. Hmm. Did you guys have fun? Uh, yeah, actually I did, it was awesome. Yeah, I had fun too, watching it on TV! Dude, come back, you're embarrassing me. Anyway, so anyway, Canada did not get off to a good start in this game. I mean, they looked like a bunch of superstars out there, and that's great, but Norway, while they weren't flashy, they were a team, and that's how they managed to shut Canada down. And they managed to enter the second period with a 0-0 tie, making the whole arena go, Yo. But in the second period, Canada seemed to get a system down and Iggy popped the first one. And he also potted another. And then another one after that, kind of, sort of, maybe we're not sure. I mean, everyone threw their hats on the ice, but then they announced that Rick Nash scored the goal, and the crowd had Two emotions. Oh, I thought he had a hat trick. And number two, my hat! Either way, he was playing that bull in a china shop style that I love. Peter blasted a couple into the Norwegian net as well. And Ryan Getzlaff managed to get a few points and they were gonna replace him. How's your ankle feeling? Goal. I see. And even though Canada clearly dominated the game, they really overcame some adversity after the first period. And it just goes to show that even if you assemble a team of stars, they're not gonna click right away, they gotta work at it. And with a 2-0 lead, a potential momentum killer, Norway has a 5-on-3 advantage. But Canada killed off the entire 5-on-3 and scored a goal immediately after. And by the way, that first penalty, yeah okay, made a little contact with the goalie. But somebody sold it. Ow. I mean, ow! And of course, the big story heading into the game, who started? Lou! Everyone watching who doesn't know who Roberto Luongo is is going, why are they booing their own goalie? They're saying Lou, the more you know. And he got the goose egg on home ice. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? OMG, there's a goalie controversy. It'll be interesting to see how Bruder performs after that. So let me ask you guys, who do you want to start in net for Canada? And with Norway now in the books, Canada looks ahead to the Swiss. For those of you who caught the Switzerland-US game, they look good, didn't they? The US did come away with a three to one victory, but Switzerland looked legit. So let me know what you think guys, and also follow me on Nike Training's Twitter that's at Nike Training, all one word. You never know when you're gonna get another chance to earn a ticket to the game with me. Oh, oh, and also, check this out. Huh? Huh? How cool is that?